In this video, we are going to present the 20 best road trips in Spain, a collection of ideas for your next trip to the country. If you are in search for inspiration, you came to the right place. Hola, I am Tony Galvez from Road Trips Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information and insider tips. So if you are ready, let's hit the road. We've put together an extensive list of the best road trips in Spain, from the lush northern coast of Galicia to the sun-drenched lands of Andalusia, from windmill territory in Castile to the vineyards of La Rioja. Okay, the title of this video is the 20 best road trips, but the list is far from being comprehensive. Spain provides endless opportunities for a road trip. Take it as a starting point for your future trip research. Two friendly reminders before we get started with the list. If you are interested in Portugal, we have another video presenting the best road trips in Portugal. And before you turn the ignition key, make sure you are familiar with the do's and don'ts of driving in Spain. There is also a video dedicated to them on the channel. For our video today, we go to the map of Spain as we are going to present a quick overview of all the trips on the map. Route 1 is a round trip that takes us through the ancient kingdom of Aragon, born in the Middle Ages under the protection of the Pyrenees mountain range, the formidable barrier between Spain and France. It is a great trip for nature, history, villages and mountains. Route 2 is a trip through the most famous winemaking region in Spain, La Rioja. It is excellent for landscapes, modern ar architecture, and obviously ideally suited for wine lovers. Route 3 takes us to a region often overlooked by foreigners. The northern coast of Spain boasts an extraordinary combination of spectacular mountains, the awesome Picos Europa, and coastal villages along the Cantabrian Sea. It's a trip excellent for coastal villages, mountain landscapes, and delicious food. Route 4 is a true off-the-beaten-track road trip through a region, Extremadura, brimming with history and charming towns. It's excellent for landscapes, history, nature, villages, and food. Route 5 is an absolute classic and a road trip that conjures up images of Spain that go back centuries in time. Our version of the Don Quixote route takes you to the charming villages where you can expect unforgettable encounters with an army of windmills. It's excellent for landscape, for history, literature, windmills and food. Route 6 takes us to the Pueblos Blancos, the white towns of Cadiz. They are one of the reasons people head to Andalusia. The houses were painted white in an attempt to keep away the unbearable heat felt on the region during the summer season. It is an excellent trip for landscapes, for villages and for food. On Route 7 we return to the northern coast of Spain to visit the region of Asturias. It shares with its neighbor Cantabria a unique combination of mountains, again the mighty Picos de Europa, and coastal landscapes. It's excellent for coastal villages, for mountain landscapes, and great food. Route 8 takes us to the largest of the Balearic Islands. Mallorca hosts an amazing array of attractions. Its outstanding beaches are among the most beautiful in the Mediterranean Sea, but in Mallorca you will also find charming little villages found on the Tramontana, which is its main mountain range, not to mention the treasures of its magnificent capital, Palma. It's a trip great for beautiful beaches, for villages, history and for food. For Route 9, we go to Girona, the northernmost province of Catalonia, sharing a border with France. It is a fabulous destination with a wonderful mix of attractions, from the mountain to the sea. It's excellent for history, unique villages, beaches and food. Route 10 is an unusual entry on our list of best road trips in Spain. We have repeatedly advised against using a car to visit the cities of Spain, but here we will make an exception. 
the proximity of three outstanding world heritage cities makes for a wonderful road trip. Salamanca, Avila and Segovia are excellent for history, art, architecture and food. Route 11 takes us through the region known as Ribera del Duero with a reputation for producing some of the finest wines in Spain and that's saying a lot. It is a wonderful destination for wine lovers with its unique combination of traditional and state-of-the-art wineries and beautiful villages and small towns. Route 12 takes us to the northwest corner of the Iberian Peninsula, the Rías Baixas, are a series of four inlets on the southern coast of Galicia. The region is rich in marine life which feeds a powerful fishing and aquaculture industry. This road trip is all about a way of life where seafood takes up a center role. It goes without saying that it's a fantastic trip for food lovers. On Route 13 we return to the province of Cadiz in Andalusia. It is home to a fascinating stretch of coast full of exciting destinations from the Doñana National Park to the Straits of Gibraltar. This west to east road trip is an absolute delight. It's excellent for nature, for wildlife, for beaches, for culture and for food. Route 14 is a route for history and art lovers through the provinces of Lleida and Tarragona in Catalonia, visiting three outstanding Cistercian monasteries and encompassing two other periods in history, in Reus, which is the birthplace of modernist genius Antoni Gaudí, and Tarragona, which is a former Roman city of Tarraco. It's a trip excellent for art, history, architecture, villages and food. And we go back to Andalusia for Route 15 through the province of Malaga, offering a mix of adventure and charming towns. It's great for nature, for villages and for adrenaline junkies as well. On Route 16 we visit Lanzarote, one of the most unique destinations in Europe, an island where trees have been replaced by volcanoes and where man-made adaptations for survival are extraordinary. The landscapes of Lanzarote are unlike any other thing you have ever seen, at least in Spain. It's excellent for nature, for landscapes, for food and for wine as well. Route 17 takes us through Navarra, which is one of the historic regions of Spain. The road trip cuts through its territory, providing striking contrasts between the lush north and the dry south. It's a trip for nature lovers and food lovers as well. For Route 18, we visit the second largest of the Balearic Islands, Menorca, combining outstanding beaches with prehistoric monuments and quaint little villages. It's excellent for beautiful beaches, for history, for nature and for food. Route 19 takes us back for the final time to the northern coast of Spain. Few stretches of the coast of Spain are populated with such an extraordinary number of beautiful fishing villages as the coast between San Sebastian and Bilbao on the Basque country. It's excellent for beautiful villages, for landscapes and for extraordinary food. And we round up our list of 20 trips with Route 20, another true of the beaten track trip through the province of Teruel, part of the ancient kingdom of Aragon. It is a hidden gem for road trippers, a unique ensemble of wonderful small towns makes for a truly of the beaten track trip. It's excellent for beautiful villages and for landscapes as well. So that was a quick look at our selection of 20 road trips through Spain. Now, let us tell you what we plan to do with them. We are going to start developing each and one of the routes mentioned above. It will obviously take time, but we will get there one day soon, we hope. And as soon as the fully developed trips become ready, we will link them on the commentary box below. So if you are interested, come back to check it out from time to time. And that was it for today. If you have any questions, you are more than welcome to use the commentary box below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, we'll be really grateful for it. And if you are new to the channel, take the opportunity to subscribe using the button that will appear shortly on screen. We'll see you soon on another video with tips for a road trip in Spain or Portugal. Até mais! Hasta la próxima, see you on the next video.